Hello, it's Ricardo and I'm playing Elite Dangerous. Today I'm going to talk about Marauder Combat, the Galnet audio, and some changes within the station. Now this is all to do with Beta 2. There's been some improvements that were announced within the forum. The Chieftain, no worries. There's been some tweaks around about engineering and some of the multipliers on engineering after listening to the community. And that's been absolutely fantastic. And Frontier Developments truly are listening to the community. Now, if you haven't already done so, can you click the like and subscribe button and the notification icon? That'll let you know when you're putting more videos on YouTube. But let's go into the first thing I want to talk about now is Marauder Combat. Now, a few of you have seen my video that I put on earlier on in the week when it was, the beta was first released. Now, generally you get anything between two and four Marauders within a non-human signal source threat level three. Now, on this occasion, as you can see, I've got two Marauder or Scouts variants having a go. Now I've got the Chieftain fitted out with AX multi cannon, so I'm not too worried about that. What you do have to be careful of though is the caustic damage, and I mentioned this in my other video. Um, and normally caused by caustic missiles, caustic torpedoes, whatever they shoot at you. Whatever green stuff that is that causes you a hell of a lot of damage um, to your ship. Now you can burn that off by keeping it around about 170 degrees. That's like a cooking program you know, or get to a station and clear it off. However, and we'll feature this when we talk about Galnet a little later on in this video, Aegeus have released an anti-caustic damage limpet that will do minor repairs, as it will tell you, and get rid of that caustic damage. So that's something to look out for when Beta actually hits. Now I was kind of hoping, and hey, put it in the comments section if you think I'm talking, that's a guff, but hey, be nice about it, we're all friends. That these encounters with these Thargoids would perhaps be a little bit more difficult. Or perhaps there'd be more than four. I mean, I've had pirate encounters of six or seven, you know, um, and managed to hold those off. Okay, they were flying eagles and, and whatnot, and they're all different things that you could say about that. But hey, this is an invasion force. You could argue that scouts Traveling small, close-knit communities. You could make, you could say an awful lot of things. I was just kind of hoping that perhaps it'd be a little bit more difficult, and perhaps that'll be throttled up in a future beta release. Who knows? Anyway, caustic damage. You can see it on the ships, on the ship models, at least on the chieftain anyway. And I haven't checked some of the other ships. Now, if we take a look at this, and I've applied a filter to make it not so dark, you can see the green caustic damage on the hull of my chieftain on different areas. Now, the hull of my chieftain is currently about 95%, so no dramas there. I'm close to the station. I'm going to get in there and get all that cleaned off. But it's good to see that, you know, this sort of damage is being applied to the vessels. Now, it might have been applied to other vessels. I don't know. Um, I can't remember seeing it before. Let me know if I'm, again... I've got the wrong end of the stick. So I'm heading on back now to Vandenberg in the weird system. Um, and this station here is going to be a good place where we can have a look at that. Galnet audio and some of the changes that they've made as soon as you dock. Now, what I've done to give myself a fine that I've got to clear before I go in here, I'm going to try approaching the docking port uh, and incurring a fine. As I do, as I come to this space, I've given the anonymous access protocol. I can't access an awful lot of the areas until I clear my finds. Once I do, I get full access to the rest of the station. A great little thing that's been put in now by Frontier in the beta, and it'll go so well in the main game, I believe anyway. So, that whole aspect of crime and punishment, you do something wrong, you're gonna be penalized. Let's talk about Galnet and Galnet Audio. Now take a look at this. So head on over to your right hand panel and you can see there's a small menu on the bottom of the screen. Click in play, it's gonna play you the news. How cool is that? The device is specifically designed to counter the caustic properties of Thargoid missiles. In a statement, an Aegis spokesperson said, As we know, the Thargoids end... This was a long toted addition to the Beyond series, and that was announced quite a while back. But to be fair, I think it's a really good addition. And, you know, it'll help while away some of the 
the boredom on some of the longer missions that you're partaking in. Also, you can scroll through the Galnet news, no surprise there, access your engineers and the like. So in all, some good additions to the Beyond Chapter 1 beta, and I'm looking forward to seeing those within the game. I've been Ricardo, this has been Elite Dangerous, Beyond Beta 2, Pas deux of the beta. Let me know what you think, put some comments in the comments section, and if you haven't already done so, like and subscribe. See you soon, fly safe, enjoy the beta.